few in the entertainment industry more successful than Justin Timberlake, who's proven his longevity in Hollywood with more than two decades of stardom. And paired up with his beautiful wife, actress Jessica Biel, they make quite the power couple. All of the couple's success has left them with plenty of money, enough to buy a handful of luxe properties, including a penthouse in Tribeca, a house in Los Angeles, and even an estate on a posh ski resort in Montana. While some of these home details are kept super private, today we're going to take a look at a few of them. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Justin Timberlake is a singer, songwriter, actor, and record producer who started his career in entertainment when he was only a kid. Remember, he was one of the Mickey Mouse Club folk alongside the likes of Christina Aguilera, Ryan Gosling, and Britney Spears. He rose to prominence in the 90s as a member of NSYNC, I myself was obsessed with him and Lance, which became one of the best selling boy bands of all time. Mind you, Justin's proved he could also launch a hugely successful solo career and act in several high profile films as well. He won two Grammys for his debut solo album Justified Alone and 10 Grammy Awards in total over the years. Justin is considered one of the world's best selling music artists. His better half, Jessica Claire Timberlake, or Jessica Biel as she's best known, is an actress, model, producer, and apparently a singer, which I never knew. She actually started her career as a vocalist in musical productions until she was cast as Mary Camden on the hit family drama series Seventh Heaven, which ran for a decade. It's actually the longest running family drama show in TV history. Biel has since starred in a handful of films and was most recently an executive producer and the star of the series The Sinner, for which which she received a claim. At the time of this recording, Justin and Jessica have an estimated net worth of about 230 to 250 million dollars, some of which they've invested into their upscale properties. Now that they're parents of their son Silas, they don't want the only home he knows to be in Hollywood, stating that this is the reason why they've purchased up mansions in places like Nashville and Big Sky Montana too. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're noticing a lot of copycat channels popping up but we're the original house tour connoisseurs and 95% of you watching aren't subscribed, so hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. Today, we're taking a look at a few of the properties that longtime celebrity couple Justin Timberlake and Jessica Biel call home. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Let's kick things off with a New York City spot that JT and Jessica used to own. Just last year it was reported the couple finally sold their penthouse at the swanky Guathme Seagull Design Soho Muse building in New York City. As you may have guessed from the name, it was located in the Soho neighborhood of Manhattan and considered a prime piece of real estate like most any spacious spots in this city. Unfortunately, Justin and Jessica sold this place for $6.35 million, and while they can weather the loss, it was almost 220 k less than they paid for the tailored condo in 2010. Inside the A-listers previous spread, it spanned 2,598 square feet with three beds and four baths throughout. Considered one of the finest penthouses in Soho, the unit offered triple exposure, six inch wide oak floorboards, and vast expanses of glass curtain walls fitted with remote control shades. The double wide living room here featured an 853 square foot wraparound terrace of a dramatic curtain wall of glass, showcasing energetic city views, even of the Empire State Building. JT and Jessica's former home had numerous top of the line customizations, over 10 foot ceilings with floor to ceiling windows all over, and a gas fireplace. A smooth paneled foyer ushers you into the penthouse, passing two ensuite guest rooms and an expensive outfitted all white galley style kitchen. Here, there were white cabinets made of almond smoked glass, a sub zero fridge and wine storage, and much more. The kitchen opens up to the 30 plus foot long combo living and dining room. A discreet door in the entryway slides open to the private master suite that Timberlake Beals used to share, which included a spacious window lined bedroom, a walk in closet, and a marble walled bath with a deep soaking tub next to a floor to ceiling window. Other perks of living at the Soho Muse building included the 24 hour dormant and concierge, parking garage with its own private entrance, fitness center, common garden, and more. This place seems hard to beat, 
But that brings us to JT and Jessica's Manhattan upgrade. In 2017, the high profile couple decamped Soho for Tribeca and dropped a jaw dropping $20.19 million for a duplex penthouse with a massive roof terrace in a 19th century luxury factory building that's very popular among celebs. Located in Lower Manhattan's Tribeca neighborhood on Greenwich Street. This building is famed for how it keeps its famous residents secure, and the couple has an A-list of neighbors like Harry Styles, Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds, and Jennifer Lawrence, just to name a few. The Timberlake Beals unit spans 5,375 square feet with four beds, four full baths, and two half baths boasting soaring ceilings, wooden beams, and a large arched windows throughout. A floating staircase separates the key lock elevator entry from their loft-like space, which combines the living, dining, and kitchen area. The common space stretches more than 45 feet long and has white oak floorboards and four exposed columns and beams. A fireplace anchors one end of the massive room, while the other has a designer kitchen fitted with antique bronze hardware, black and white marble counters, as well as top quality appliances, even warming drawers and a 70 bottle wine fridge. Bedrooms in JT and Jessica's penthouse are well separated for privacy and include an ensuite guest or staff suite tucked away behind the kitchen. Two smaller family bedrooms overlook the building's lush courtyard while the couple's master suite has an L-shaped entrance hall, sitting area with fireplace and two walk-in closets. Of course, they can also unwind in the ensuite spa style bathroom made of marble. The upper floor of their unit has a powder room as well as a large family room with fireplace, wet bar and room-wide glass doors on opposite walls that lead you to the huge terrace with outdoor kitchen. Like most celebs, Justin and Jessica also have a long time home in the Hollywood Hills. And while most pictures and details are harder to come by, we do know Justin bought the place back in 2002 for $8.3 million off of actress Helen Hunt. Helen Hunt bought the legendary Errol Flynn estate four years prior, and while she was very involved in the designing, she never actually moved in the home. It was too big for her, apparently. She expanded the property by buying some adjacent lots, and it was her idea to construct a 1,000 square foot porch with views of the San Fernando Valley. Details claim the house offers over 13,000 square feet of living space with six beds and 10 baths. And we can also see there's a basketball court, huge pool and spa, as well as a large detached guest house. The Walden Gated property sits on 10 acres of land with mature oak and sycamore trees for added privacy. And the Mediterranean style home boasts two office suites, a recording studio, a gym, and a theater with its own lobby and bar. The power couple made some of their own changes since moving into the mega mansion too, like adding in the blue basketball court and a putting green where JT can practice his golf game. All right, we've looked at three properties that Justin Timberlake and Jessica Biel have called home over the years, two of which they still live at, so I think that brings this house tour to an end. Aside from these places, of course, there's the Paris Nashville mansion and their big sky Montana home. You know, the one that apparently made JT into the man of the woods he is today. The family owns property in the exclusive Yellowstone Club, a 15,200 acre private residential community set among the Rocky Mountains. A membership here costs about 400K to join with an annual fee of over over $41,000, and that doesn't include how much you gotta fork over for your actual home in the community. You must own property here to be a member, and options range from condominiums starting at about $5 million to huge custom built mansions ranging around $16 million to 160 to 360 acre ranches with price tags of up to $25 million. And I gotta say, I highly doubt that the Timberlake Beals opted for the condos. Here, the couple can rub elbows with other rich and famous famous folk from the likes of Tom Brady to Ashton Kutcher to Bill and Melinda Gates, and that's only a few of their neighbors. Anyways, after looking at the homes of JT and Jessica, what would you guys rate them? Did you have a favorite? I think mine would be their Hollywood mansion. I just wish we could see more pics from the inside. I'm also trying to get to 1,000 subs over on my personal channel, so I'd love it if you guys like and subscribe. We'll link you my latest video. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!